5, 4, 3, 2, 1, sink! Hello and welcome to the TTV Brickfeed Podcast. I'm Jonathan. I'm Broderan. I'm Meso. I'm LJ. I'm Ven. I'm Purple. I'm Tenebrae Invictus. I'm Exus Trooper and I'm late. <laughs> and this is the Brickfeed Podcast episode 39. Woo! Hello, everybody. Yo, yo. Hey. Should, hey, I, yo. should I How's download Life of George 2? Oh Dude, my what? gosh. <laughs> what? Sorry, that what? just came up. <laughs> what, a, like... what a way to start this episode. X. I, Speaking yeah, listen, of downloading wanna... things. Post in the comments. Oh, <laughs> segue. <laughs> At this rate, this podcast will be five minutes long. <laughs> wow. So how's the weather, everybody? On this it's cold. Uh, it's snowing, it sucks, and I hate it. It's, wow, it's, like it's still snowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for the hate it part. Jealous. Jealous. It's been nice and sunny. I really like it. Yeah, I'll say uh, awesome for you. Jealous. You it's can cold. keep it. <laughs> I would trade places with you in a heartbeat, purple. You guys, you guys are, you guys are interesting people. I love the snow. I love the cold. It's. It's home. Oh, cold. Is, I I think cold is the worst. I think it's like, the worst. cold. I feel like it, if it's cold, like if it's really hot, it's annoying. But like I can still go out and do things. If it's really cold and I'm outside and I'm really cold, I feel like shutting down. Yeah, but you know yeah, same. I, I can. Why don't you just get warm? Like I just bundle up and I I I don't yeah. like do anything. I'm just like I just don't want to do something today because it's cold and I hate that. Yeah. No, it's yeah. a great See, I can warm up to the cold. I can only take <laughs> off so much clothes during the heat. <laughs> Warming up to something cold isn't always easy. Thank you, Messo. Uh. I appreciate that. It's a lot easier to function in the extreme heat than it is to function in when it gets super cold. Even when yeah, you bundle seriously. up, I can't do that. And like I'm naturally totally. always cold. So whenever it's like cold Same. out, it's like oh crap, this like really sucks. Same. In in all fairness, I'm genetically bred for like a hundred degree weather. 24/7. Yeah, same. Because Malaysia is like same. on the equator. Her, yeah, you're my genetically are from bred. I'm genetically like like every like <laughs> literally. <laughs> my like my screen, like my, the beginning of Fallout. You are actually bred. History. I, I feel this whole time you are selectively Which bred. Kind of so it's, it's, you know, you also have her. a nice coat. Twenty five resistance. It's yellow bread, Meso. He, he's he's a good combination of barley and wheat. And a little bit of yeast. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeast. A little bit of yeast. Yeast. More like... In China, they call ye- it... Yeah. Cool. <laughs> in America, Anyhow, we so call yeah. it disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, How's it going, guys? guys? You guys get anything, like, cool, like wise I nothing. got uh, a no, fantastic so much. poly bag. What is it? What did you get? Uh, hold on. Let me get Let me get a link to it. It is the poly bag. It is the poly bag. The no other ones. Released. One of the most One of their most peculiar creations. I'm trying to kill time while you get this picture, Ben. Just in it's time. A thing. <laughs> oh, hey, Discord isn't doing the thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh Whoa. yeah, this one. I remember this. But anyway, yeah, I, I got this. I got this thing. I got the Spider-Man versus the Venom symbiote poly bag. We Found it for. Not- uh, Found it from some toy vendor selling it for like ten bucks. You're not gonna run out of the heads, dude. So I said, screw cool. it. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Like the fact that there's so many heads and it's like this kind of freakish amalgamation. <laughs> I don't remember the first the, time the I saw that this existed. I was like, what? I mean, <laughs> uh, sure, <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's I just a novelty. Bag. Your guys' reactions. You're like, what the heck is this? Yeah, honestly, it was for the novelty because we we like gold mine. Yeah, um, it is. Yeah, uh, the, the, those I black, mean, black ne- things. Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely needed those after like, LJ stole some from me. Oh, like, wow. Wait, that can wait, be like horns. What, like what did I steal? His heart. His soul. Bla- <laughs> his black legs. Wait, his mind. <laughs> no, I didn't steal any of them from you. I purchased them from you. No, you stole them, man. You purchased his heart and his soul. Wait, what? No, it I didn't buy... It was a transaction. I bought those light LJ's pieces LJ's a thief, from him. everybody. He sold them to me. Don't ever he sold them and replaced it with money. money He's a liar, a hack, and a thief. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, maybe. And no also what a you con say, artist. What, no matter what you say, they're my property now. Ah. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Whoa. And as you can see, get LJ'd. Whoa. 
Get, get, get jade. Yeah, no, I got this get thing. It's really son. charming. It's beautiful. I would recommend it to anybody. Totally get you it. Beautiful. For Ten bucks. It's worth maybe twenty bucks. I would say you know it's real good, good stuff. What about the rest of you guys? Would anybody else get something nice? I got the new Lego Life app. <laughs> Not yet. No. Wow. no. no. Not yet. It was no. It didn't, it didn't come purple. out yet. So I shut bought up. so much stuff purple. So you hoosh. hoosh. <laughs> you hoosh. What did you buy, X? I just went to the Lego store and I was just like, I, it's, I, I need some Legos. So I just bought everything that looked nice. So I got a creator green dinosaur just because I like oh, green. Oh, yeah. That, okay. that is actually an amazing set. Oh, because yeah, the, it, new, the new one, right? Yeah, it, I was just like, dude, that thing has teeth. I, I don't have a lot of teeth. so it's, it's And it's the exact same price as a battle pack. And it just shows you the major difference between a licensed theme and a non-licensed theme. Like, it has pretty much 50 more parts than a usual battle pack. And it's, oh, it's, it's so good. The main build, great. Good colors, everything. It even uses like barnacle joints. It's, oof, it's, it's really good. And I also bought um, a new Nexonites set because I really like a lot of the new Nexonites sets. But I don't want to spend like on a huge set, but I want like a little bit of everything just to experience the theme. And I found a set that gives you um, a like semi small, medium sized um, vehicle to the good guys and. Uh, and big ogre looking guy. Yeah, yeah. That that thing that is amazing has so many. This parts. actually looks really awesome because this is one of the sets I really wanted to get. Uh, the purple wings are really cool. Oh, uh, I love purple, them right so up, much. Right up, only, I, I knew them as they saw this. She's gonna love it. Um, and also like the I also I always like that Lance has some sort of like horse vehicle, like some sort of like inspired thing that horse tell, is so always, nice you can always tell what he's riding yeah it is awesome um, it has so no much articulation you can even like spin the head round and you can also if you really? buy if you buy the white lance uh set the like um the little mech um you can actually take the half of that and put them on the horse and it becomes like a it's not it's not a minotaur was it was it called like the mythical centaur. Creature? Centaur. Yeah, it's, it's Literally comes the centaur and it's actually really neat and I just really didn't expect cool. that. And that's really cool. Yeah, Wait, was, was that part of like is something you did or was that no, like that's part of like the instructions? Like the really? like, that is cool. Like you build it into that. It's just it's like a uh, old like those old bionicle combo mo- models. It's it's really neat. Like I was very surprised and it's a very it's pretty cheap set considering how much different stuff you get. Well, that is some awesome sauce. Yeah, and I also bought All like right. fifty minifigure packs like collectible minifigure packs <laughs> did you get everything you wanted in those 50 packs i don't know i haven't opened them <laughs> wow we're about to find out i guess so uh, mains what did you get i mean envy sorry envy. Wow. <sighs> well yeah. over the last few weeks since i haven't even been on brick feed and forever um i've a few weeks ago i had target gift card that i really wanted to use for lego sets so at your suggestion meso i bought Battlesuit Axel. Then the next week, I was oh, at Walmart, boy. and I decided I was going to get another one. Another one. Another so I got one. Another <laughs> one. Battlesuit Aaron. And then this last oh, week, yeah. I decided to use up the rest of my gift card, so I spent it on uh, the Mr. Freeze Batman, or Lego oh, Batman Oh, you set. just took it one step further. <laughs> so you fully yeah. embraced the oh. Battlesuit life. You oh, to the Lego. The Battlesuit come... life. I got Battlesuit Mr. Freeze. Is... And hearing you guys pick up like all these different sets actually makes me want to go on a shopping spree. Yeah, me too. Don't tell oh, yeah. her like already spent enough money as it is. Don't worry, I'll take that desire and stomp it into the dirt when I have to talk about what I got. This is the most I've bought outside Bionicle, yeah. though. Like to be honest, I haven't really bought that many other Lego sets outside of Bionicle, so it's quite a oh. departure for me. What do you think about them? They're all really good. Um. I think maybe How- the only thing, the only issue I had overall with like all the out of the three I got was maybe the price point on the Mister Free set. I don't feel like licensed man. It's necessarily <laughs> twenty bucks, and I only paid like yeah. seven You're actual dollars for it. You're paying for the names it, and but, characters. That's solid. But it's a really good set. I like I like Mister Freeze's uh, mech. I like the battle suit. It's uh, that I like the variation from compared to like the battle suits. Even like the, the, 
They're like the closest thing we have to Bionicle right now. Just those small joints. Yeah, you know? the small Basically. joints, the mixel joints. Those are really nice. That's why I those joint for them life. Up. They're very comparable to Ugh, their legacy Bionicle will be on. Well, the biggest thing <laughs> while we're talking about the Mr. Freeze set is the thing that it has in uh, it's different from the other battle suits is because it actually has new hand pieces that are more oh. like proportional. To yeah, they that are kind definitely a lot more proportional, and I, I I like them. I think the only issue I have is more of the arm articulation or lack thereof, really. Yeah, but I like the hands. <laughs> Did you well, see the uh, cool. blue alien that someone made with those hands and posted no, it? No, like, no, no, I'm not. You should, you should post, find that. I'm, post. I'm trying. I'm like Spread taking time in your just so I can find While it. you're finding time. it, oh, oh, uh, I, I clicked it. I'm, I'm okay. getting the link. <laughs> We're right. getting close, gentlemen. <laughs> I believe in you. There we go. We got it. We're you can done. deliver Ooh. X. Oh boy! Oh wow! Oh wow! Dude, it's. It's the Cookie That's Monster. That's so creative. It's Whoa, Space awesome. Cookie Monster. That is... <laughs> what like, like just how they use that the that front piece as, like, the mouth. That's such a creative use of that. Yeah, I never would have thought. That's the new, like, horse um, saddles. Uh, for the record, this uh, this mock was made by Duncan Limbo. There we alien go. Assault. Lindo. We will... Shout out to you, Limbo. It's Lindo. Lindo. His yeah, name yeah. is Lindo. Lindo Calrissian. Lindo, Lindo, Lindo. Or Lindo Calrissian. <laughs> wow. Not, but I'm, it's I'm like, sure at first L-I-N-D-B-O, he was like, thanks for the so shout out, guys. Yeah, no. Uh, I mean, like, it's L I N D B O. So it's like, Lindo. there's a D and a B. Lindo. Lindo. So that you can still Lindo. make characters Lindo. with Lindo. system, you know. Five, oh, to hear this name one more time. <laughs> Lindo. 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 Hungry, hungry limbos. I just want to. I forgot to ask. I'm sorry. What Actually, you think I like I, the legs are definitely. Uh, well, I mean, so I got Axel first, and those things are really clunky. The legs on Aaron are a lot better, and I think what definitely stuck sticks out is the crossbow. That, oh, that's yeah. the one I wonder about. Just, really, really genius design. I think for how little pieces it has, and the new launcher. On it. It yep. took me a while. It took me like a week before I finally realized how you were actually supposed to fire it. I was just kind of like messing around with the bolt for a bit till it <laughs> fired, and I was like, "Oh, you just push down on it." Such and complex all device. All of a sudden, like, <laughs> this thing's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. I yeah, love it I'm considering buying it just because it's green, and I just, I just love green. Definitely worth Do it. it. Green's uh, been I'm getting great. it. LJ, you right. said you got something nice. Uh, nice is. Not the what word I would use. What is the I big thing, use. LJ, that is better than everyone else's? You know, what the is it? The bird is Come the on. word. What is I it? got all of those. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so you had that ready. That's, all right, so <laughs> for the people that aren't watching I'll, our, I'll read it uh, our Discord I'll chat. Read it yeah, <laughs> read wow. it off So I got bad guy, Duracell bad guy, quick good guy, white, uh, quick bad guy, green and yellow, quick good guy, red, bad guy 07, squid launcher function, bad guy 08, and function 2008. In addition, I got a couple of others that I just haven't finished quite yet, but it's Good Guy 08 and Good Guy 07. Man, why? Some of these I didn't even oh know God. existed. I've never even seen some of these. <laughs> yeah. 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 As a Bionicle fan for how many years, I have never seen the... Like the 2007 ones? Yellow. I have LJ. never seen these. Yes. Oh, really? LJ. Even I've seen I... those. I'm sorry. Mm. But what like... Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm sorry. Go! <laughs> just, okay. talk. Yeah, just go. Um, just say it. LJ, I know you have like a lot to say about this, but I just want to say this really quickly: mm. is that these were in Donald Duck magazines in Norway. Each of these, and for some <laughs> reason, everyone I knew had like getting those magazines every single week, but they didn't like Lego, so they all gave theirs of these to me. So I have like actually twelve of each of these. Oh my god! <laughs> what? That's That's no way. Way. Whoa. And I have that, uh... all of them still. I can just show you like a box. Basically, full of what you're orange. saying is. LJ could have gotten all of these like just from you, basically. Yes, really easy I have so one many I could actually just wow. give each one, and I would still <laughs> oh, have. Hey man, way you might hope you me one of each. Hey, yeah, I, I hope you didn't pay a lot for is. these. LJ. <laughs> How many uh, of us are there in the group? <laughs> probably not. Like, given that shipping would be a, a, a massive. <laughs> yeah, it probably would be. <coughs> oh, that's expense. true. That's yeah. true. So I I think we're good, but wow, I did not know that. Thank you for that Next, information. Can you give me a picture that of that is giant how box for the video? Yeah, I will. Like all those orange uh, lock things. So, so okay, uh, there's a lot of them, um, and it would take a lot to like talk about each individual. What what do you think is the best one? What do you think is the worst one? Oh, LJ, excellent question. Um, probably the best one would be Bad Guy 2007. 
Definitely. Uh, sorry, bad, bad Guy 2008. Bad Guy 2008 is really cool. It's it's not the worst design. And it actually functions creature. fine. It actually looks like the most cohesive. As the a worst set. one is any of the quick, bad, or good guys. The quick sets are trashed. <laughs> yeah, the story <laughs> behind unbelievable- these, I, I can't tell you my, my reasoning for them, but um, I bought them from Meso. Huh. And oh. like I said, I still have quick, uh, sorry, good guy 2008 and then good guy 2007 I need to finish. And I also ordered another one of the promotional sets, the another one. Kratu. And uh, that hasn't arrived yet, but I did purchase it. What this means is that I will have all of the promotional sets, which the, in turn means I'll have every Construction Bionicle set, period. Woo! Yeah. Big Congrats on mediocrity. I, I like. Bags, at least. I just I can't get over the fact that I like I just do not <laughs> give a crap about these sets like one bit <laughs> until I saw freaking reviving Bionicle and now <laughs> I want them all. Right? It's exactly. so stupid. I hate yeah. myself. Why? Well, Why are you feeling these feelings? They have feelings? sentimental value now. The polyvags are like cute little things. <laughs> yeah, it's like they're, these... they're like cute now. Which, do you know where these were were sold? Like they were, were just in random Toys R Us uh, and stuff. Some, somewhere Pretty in much. magazines, somewhere from Duracell batteries. Yeah, like the one of the batteries? good guys. In, batteries? Yeah, one of the good guys and one of the bad guys were from batteries. Like, uh, Duracell pack, battery packs. Packs of just batteries. Yep. Yep. Packs With of batteries. Lego in them. Yep. Yep. That is incredibly <laughs> weird. Yeah, and I mean, I'm looking I'm looking off to my left, and I'm pretty much, outside of the few that I either A, haven't received yet, or B, haven't finished, I'm looking at them all standing in a row. Every promotional set, from 2003 to 2015, uh, 16 rather, what a motley crew. They look like they need to run the Island of Misfit Toys. <laughs> yeah, basically. Like, they're gonna, they're gonna have that elf that wants to be a dentist and Rudolph no. walk by and be like, wow, you guys are weird. Yeah, they're, you can they're call bad, them the dude. NBC, the neglected oh. bionicle characters. The NBC. Dude, you, you can't call people <laughs> neglectable bionicle. That's horrible. Bad insult. In 2016 <laughs> plus one? <laughs> Just how? Man? Disgusting. All right. Simply. Well, anyway, no, nah, that's that's the trash that I I unfortunately I'm glad had to they purchase. Arrived. All right. Thank you for taking them off of my head. Thank you. Thank you for going through the trouble. I, I love appreciate your it. incredibly obscure collection. Yep, it's like, great. C- explaining that collection to someone who does not know the context or Bonacle yeah, is going to be so, the hardest thing ever to, like, this is an accomplishment. The niche niche yeah. of the niche. It's like you'd expect to find someone with these wearing an over, like, a huge trench coat in an alley going, you want to buy promotional sets? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> you want it. You know you do. These are the nearest <laughs> Bionicle promotional sets you'll ever find. It's like I making a, a, a ins- <laughs> insert very like not used character in video game here. You know, I would say All Symmetra, right. but she's good now, so it's just can't. ah, she's bad. Yeah. No, she's good way. now, man. Yeah, she's, she's too so good. good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a Mangosteen smoothie. No, I said it like way after you. Oh, I want a Mangosteen. No smoothie. way. Anyway, I'll just get pizza, right. man. Ah, I'll settle for pizza. You ever had too much pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Never. So, uh, moving on from that, let's take a, <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's go to our news docket. I don't know how to transition from pizza. Yeah, to speaking of the things sets. I got, I yeah. Got. Speaking of things I wish I got, um, let's talk about these Batman sets that were <laughs> the final <laughs> wave of Batman oh, sets baby. that are coming out. Materialistic things, Cause that's, my cause favorite. That's just what we need on the Brickfeed podcast. More, More like Batman. Batman yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know it. I have not I been say. on here for Batman, so this is all right. Well, okay. While um, while we are about to focus on Batman, I will say that Batman just leads into a point that I've been like thinking for a while now. Lego is just freaking killing it this year with their sets this year man i just i just the quality every of line just has looked so cool it's been awesome yeah. As the ones cool that i'm not even like super savage. invested in like creator too <laughs> they're popping out yeah. some awesome sets <laughs> yeah yeah no creator but, looks great so it's just like really i don't know like i don't know what you're doing but you've you're, you're winning my they're heart doing it right yeah you're doing it right this year has been really I, good you open up 2017 I, I'm strong glad. i can't wait I'm to see what we get like, later in like, the year 
Mm-hmm. This both this year and like the next couple of years with the movies and everything kind of promoting the movies are kind of like the best advertising. They, they really do. are, yeah. Like it's They're really embraced. convenient that both the Lego, like you know, they they time their movies so that they coincide with the the summer and winter waves for Lego sets. Uh, Batman's coming out in February and Ninjago is coming out in I think in September. Uh, September, right? It yeah, is so September. It's, it's yeah, just I- around the. It's like a month after they're supposed to hit stores, so they're guaranteed to be on store shelves. Um, and I, Month I really think it's, 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 it's genius right. though. Like so you see, you see an entire movie of just action and just all oh, those things are great. And then like right afterwards, you can just go buy them, <laughs> you know. And especially okay, right now. So the uh, these Lego sets, there are uh, there are three base. Oh, actually four. Sorry, that were announced. Well, you said they were free, and it's like really. <laughs> oh, I set? wish, dude. I will okay. take twelve of each. The smallest one is the Scarecrow Fearful Face Off. Uh, which has the actual scarecrow minifigure, not like him in a pizza costume. Oh, um, yes. Which I'm more than excited about. This is honestly a must buy for me at this point. It's really? cheap enough. The it's long enough and it's cheap enough. Uh, not the Batwing, the, uh, the scarecrow set with the little her- helicopter and the thing. Same. It's a small set. This, the minifigure is amazing, you know, and I feel like it's something that's really, uh, really cool to see. Um, it, the the vehicle itself is personalized to that character, and I like that a lot. The, like, yeah, the, the little, it's the so like the Harry like Potter detailed thingies. Like, yeah, for being so small, and look at that minifigure. Good grief, that is one of the most. He's a dude, figures. all right. And Batman's got wings. He's got, he's got Batman, he's I think that's the big <laughs> thing about <laughs> Lego now is that they're really good at the smaller sets. The yeah. smaller sets are getting a lot better. Uh, Mister Freeze, you know, like, as we were saying beforehand, Mister Freeze is a good set for being so so small as well. Um, I'm, I'm just more, really glad. That these sets, they, they they gave us what I was complaining about for the longest time. Yeah. And that is we we hadn't had a Scarecrow and Two-Face in their natural costumes. Bane. To- right. Oh, right. well, Bane, that was an expectation eventually. But, you know, we had gotten these characters previously, just not yep. in their normal, their OG outfits. This is oh. the wave they needed. Oh, also, yes. yeah. in, that, in that Scarecrow set, Batman doesn't have his tool belt. It's, he does not. Printed. He has a regular printed on. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's uh, weird. It's really weird. Oh, that's huh. so he can fit the oh, yeah, links on his way to stay. Otherwise, yeah. wouldn't fit. Like, stop the super speculation time. It's it's logical. <laughs> All right. Let, let's not talk about that for like 20 that's minutes. Fair. I think that's this fair. confirms <laughs> Lego being the Illuminati. You're right, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we, here we go. <laughs> All right. So, does it, cool. like, so is it wider in it, at, at his back then? No, like it, the it's, the belt itself is it wider? Like because it's the reason they removed it, I assume, is because it's pushing up against the uh, the wings in the back. Yeah, it goes. It has. I'm pretty sure it has like a tiny bit of detail on the back as well. Like okay, even maybe right. like that alternate details we don't know. But either way, it, just, it would not fail on that figure. Basically, sure. Okay. Right, moving on from that, Bane toxic truck attack. I um, like oh, it. Oh look, a big I will, fig. I, will, I like it a lot. Big fig is a no no. Well, because it's big yeah. fig, but it's a good looking big fig, but it's still it's a, a really big good fig. looking it's, big fig. Yeah, it's like a good it. looking big fig. It's finally big, big big guy for you, Bane, coming <laughs> yeah. here. Just like I, I if just, they're gonna do a big fig, at least they're doing it right. This is a good one. I really like the way it looks. There's that a lot coat, of detail to it. Yeah, it looks really good. There's two. I like the mini fig. Yeah, big on the truck. There's two huge okay. things about this set, though, and that is those very small, short flex tubes. I think they're short. They might be like going like it's one big whole one. No, I, like going, I, I think they're short. Yeah, because yeah, that is a too. huge thing, and it's also, also that sight thing on top of the cannon on that car there. That I, oh, I will yeah. buy. I will buy the Ooh. entire set just for that one part. Would I, you really? Ask? I I, th- I am. I need that part for a mock, and I. It's that's fair. It's gonna it's look. Mm. I can see that. Like, there's some uh, the, like gun mocks that have been made. There, like, kind of. I can see that going on. I that's, I like, need it for a gun for a mech. That's, yeah. that's exactly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, like, those do look like short tube pieces. I well, thought it was awesome. one at first, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that those are two. Because like, I'm right. trying to it's see just it fading the white printed, at the end. Like the pan piece just sticking out. Mm. I do feel like okay, so that might be it. The mutant leader, <laughs> mutant leader is a really interesting choice to have as a as a Batman villain for this wave. Um, I'm glad they did him. Don't get me wrong. I just I, I find that really fascinating. Educate me on his clear. history. Don't oh, do you know, this. No. 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 We don't have three hours. No. Dark Knight Returns. We don't have three hours. Yeah. Dark Knight Returns. He's what he, right? Yeah, the Dark Knight Returns. He's that's okay. the only place he's ever been seen in. Yeah. That's why it's so weird. He's just a one off <laughs> character. Well, they cool. can't really have that guy with with all the scratches on him. That's who I thought it was at first. Oh, oh you Zaz? thought it was Victor's ass. Yeah, yeah. I, the, oh, I know it was something with Z, but. Yeah. Yeah. Every time he kills someone, he like carves. Uh, Zaz, yeah, himself. he's a little, a uh, little disturbing. He's a little too much non PG. I wonder what Bane would look like if he had Axel's proportions. 
I feel like that would actually work for Bane because he's supposed to be like this like it would definitely worked for like for like a like a the Dark Knight Rises or Return what, Rises what, which which one right. Dark Knight Rises Dark Knight Rises, Rises. 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 Yeah. Dark Knight Returns is the graphic novel yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Third third movie. By, yeah. by a movie I, I didn't used to get them confused until freaking like Batman v Superman came out and now they're like borrowing from that and it's just like okay anyway yeah. um I, the, I think the um the Axel style minifigure would work a lot really well for like a uh, like a Dark Knight Returns or Dark, did it again Rises <laughs> Bane right. <laughs> I think that, I like the idea of like having the coat and everything. I feel like the coat could make it look yeah. you know, kind of uh, really, really jacked up, really, really cool, cool piece to see them try to adapt into like a yeah into a thing. Into it it would have been nice. Adaption. I mean, like out of all the big vid I've seen, this one's the better one. Uh, there's Killer yeah. Croc was released a while, but I didn't like the Killer Croc one as well, much. Well, it's because most of them are just like there's just like color palette swaps, really, and like a custom yeah. head, and that's all. Yeah, right. Exactly. This one they're actually like adding things to it. It looks really cool. Yeah, like, like the normal custom. minifigure, which is like not the same. This is the second yeah, totally. fig that this specific series has done really well. The other being Killer yeah. Croc. Agreed. Oh, this is because they need to look very good on TV or so on, on this show. I wonder, like, it's funny because out of all the the minifigures are going to be like, you know, uh, the Lego movie tries to make it look like it's just a stop motion, so that all the even when yeah. they like fold their arms or something, it's the same Lego piece, just like slightly tilted off to the side. The, the thing of the big figs is that they can't do that. I don't. I, I'm interested to see how they're going to. Is Bane going to actually have to walk? <laughs> It will like, be interesting. Gonna you can't waddle. do it. You cannot do a stop motion walk with Bane. He might waddle. He honestly <laughs> might. I mean, yeah, they're, 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 all, all the way. big figs are gonna fall in line behind the penguin. Let's do it. Come all right, go. Um, let's move on to the Two Face Double Demolition. Uh, Ooh, purple okay. tubes. Okay. See, they like the purple tubes, and it doesn't look like a bad set. But a big tractor is not what I would have pictured for Two Face. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I was yeah, expecting nah, like, this is a monster uh, car, you know. Yeah. I wanted. I, really I wanted like to drive a Lincoln. Yes, mm. the bike like, is neat. Yeah, the black yeah. bike reminds me of like stuff from the '90s, like the yellow visors with the black. It's like kind of like the black. Yeah, reminds me of very right. drawn. Yeah, yeah my man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's no, up. Know. It's not bad, but it's one of the weakest. It's just sets. out of character. Yeah, it's out of character for for me. Like I liked that in the previous wave. I felt like a lot of the char- like the vehicles, fit the characters. The Joker's notorious little rider fit that character very well. I love the penguins, uh, Arctic Roller. Uh, obviously, the Batmobile was a really cool set. I would assume I wanted the two like Two Face to drive like a Lincoln because of, like the Lincoln lawyer because he's his attorney and he has his like really cool old car and everything. Yeah, uh, it would be cool to have a design like a, a car that was that looked really cool and also nope. was like to a split tractor. <laughs> one but, half is good and one half is bad. I don't know. They didn't give any information on the two cops, like if they actually have names. I actually think that they're characters from the comics. I'm not sure though, but I think they are. Um. There was rumors that like uh there's a one of the the cops from like one of the Arkham games I forget his name is, is seen Me somewhere, too. um and there was Same. there was a like there was a poster that was released and people theorized that like uh Renee Montoya was on there as well. Um, what a world! Who, who becomes uh the question? My name is M- uh, Renee Montoya. <laughs> you killed my <laughs> father. No, you Prepare must to die. Prepare to die. Prepare to die. Come on. <laughs> We're going to derail the podcast One for a reference everyone knows. That's what we do it right. In cinema and you <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I even saw that movie. Uh, now, what no, movie are right, we talking now about? You must die. The Princess Bride. No, you must die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Princess Bride. All right, uh-huh. last but definitely not least, the uh, the Coupe de Resistance of this is the Batwing. Oh. It's, the Batwing. It's so do good. Do you guys? Do you this guys is like so cool. it? Okay, so I'm guessing people don't mind its blocky design. Yeah, it's uh, not blocky. Uh, no, like, it has some very cool, nice like, the vents and stuff shapes on, the front, on it. But... You know what? Looking at it again, it's not really that blocky. No, <laughs> it's, yeah, okay. it really is. Uh, it has and a like, lot of shaping the, on the wings. I mean, it's it's not any more blocky than the freaking Batwing and uh, yeah. Coin yeah. Rises. So yeah, totally right. I just I love the fact that like you can like. On the Tilt it on bigger. its side and it forms a bat symbol. Yeah. That's so yeah, awesome. That's, really that's cool. just amazing. That to me. is incredibly cool. I didn't actually know that, but I can see also, that. Oh, you didn't know that? No, you, you can see that now, right? Yeah. <laughs> is that a new uh, Harley Quinn mini? Yeah, I was literally just about to point that out. Also, is. that new Harley yeah, Quinn mini figure. Oh, really the new cute. Harley Quinn is so good. <laughs> the Harley little, Quinn little is getting, skirt. Ah, like, the skirt great. is 
amazing. It's adorable. She has the it's hair. It's literally the best minifigure <laughs> the Lego group will ever I, make. I have already oh, loved so the good. last iteration of their Harley Quinn, and now they have another one that's even better with the freaking they, classic hammer, too. Like, they yes! they like, traditional yeah. Harley oh. Quinn and, like, pseudo-Suicide Squad-esque Harley Quinn. It's, like, it's the greatest, it's too. It's so different mini Good. figures Yeah, ever. it's funny. It's, there's one drawing inspiration from the animated series and one drawing inspiration from Suicide Squad, which are the yeah, two most awesome. popular inspira- like, you know, uh, incarnations of Harley Quinn to date. I really love it. I, I'm so glad that, like, we are able to get these high-quality minifigures and that, like, the Lego movie itself is able to draw inspiration from all these popular designs and, like, kind of, like, do its own spin on it. Two-Face, we, we didn't really talk about too much about Two-Face, but the Two-Face you- design is amazing. Yeah, it's really good. I love Two-Face. Uh, the, in terms of the minifigure. So, like I said, just good minifigure. But it's nothing compared to Harley Quinn minifigure because it's killing it. It's um, <laughs> killing it. It also confirms that the um, because I actually made uh, that's the ballerina, the dress thing. Um, I actually painted that black first time I got those when they came out with the com- uh, customizable minifigures, but I never, I never posted it. So I just I could have like stolen their own credit for like. Using black or something. It's it's a stretch. Wow. But I just I feel like I missed showing like, hey, I had this really cool idea. How could you? Yeah. Like, How could you uh, I made a maid out of it. Lego, just to see how far they've come recently, because they started. Hopefully. Batman's one of their oldest superhero sets, uh, besides like Spider Man. And uh, so the initial Harley Quinn is he's not a bad minifigure, but she's mm-hmm. definitely a very classic she's okay. look. Yeah, very classic looking. And I believe uh, this one was also released in uh, the one with Dead Deadshot, Harley Quinn yeah, Deadshot. I do like it's kind of a new 52 a revi- revised kind of deal. That one's okay, uh, but I, I absolutely despise the blue and red color scheme that they keep doing here. <laughs> I, 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 I hate, hate it so much. I hate it so much. She's a red, I'm white, not and a blue. fan of that either. <laughs> I'm like, so well, mad Where's the blue coming from? I, I don't, don't know. know. A Harley Quinn is it's like. It's coming from the movie. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's not. It's coming from the new Fifty Two, and I don't know where the new Fifty Two got yeah. it from either. Oh, never mind. It's some blending of stuff, I suppose. It's just so. So bad. that is. I, I don't know. This man. is the one in the the Joker's Notorious Lowrider with the the roller skates and the bat. Yeah, this is yeah, the hallmark yeah, of the Suicide the Squad more modern inspired one. Yeah. It's awesome. It's really well. Really Finally, we have this one. So all of them together are really, really good. They gave her uh, both her two like like, cl- like defining weapons: the baseball bat and the hammer. It's so <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It's so it's, awesome. It's just amazing, honestly. <laughs> if you're a Harley Quinn fan, there, there's got to be like real for you. Batman fans working on these sets, man. Yeah, for oh, real. Yeah. They, there is like on the movie too. Like some of the 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 jokes I seen in the movie, the obscure villains and everything. Those comes from like these people really they get love what they're doing. You know, they're huge Having comic a lot book of fun. fans. Yeah, yeah. This is like a dream come true. Take I, notes, I don't like the parody stuff. DCEU. Yeah. Oh boy! <laughs> hey, unrelated, but Ben Affleck's no longer directing the Batman movie, and my hope for that movie went out the window. <laughs> Too much. Like last month, he was like, "If there's not a good script, I won't direct it." And then now he's like, oh, "I'm not going to direct it." Cause, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he's, you can yeah, he's, he's just getting yeah. overwhelmed. Uh, well, but he's still <laughs> acting in it, is he not? He yeah, is still he acting is. in it. I don't. I'm pretty sure his contract. He's still acting, not. and I believe he's still writing. And then he's, yeah. he's just not going to be directing it. Yeah, which so, honestly I care about a little bit more. Yeah. So, uh, talking about some new stuff, uh, let's move on to Brickheads. So, recently we talked about Brickheads a while back, um, and the last few episodes we've actually talked about them. We got over the last week the news oh, that Brickheads we is going to be available for Lego the Lego is killing it. <laughs> Brickheads is being available. It's being sold for nine ninety nine, which is. That is I, such a good price, dude. I literally okay. I remember like I came in the call and I was like, "Guys, guess what do you think it is?" I said uh, twenty. Me- message said twenty. Uh, I think someone said fifteen. But I was like, um, "It's probably crazy expensive." Though. Yeah, I, I, I came in thinking, much. "Oh, like I was gonna hike the price up as much as possible. It's gonna be like freaking thirty, forty dollars or something." Right? Oh God! It is. It's literally. I don't know about $10. all that. Dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars is the perfect price. Ten perfect dollars. Price. Yeah, that's like. Well, it, that's like a dollar here. cheaper than some Funko Pops. We were, we were, talk- we were talking saying? about this before. It, we were like, um, I remember having this discussion, like, what what do you think would be a reasonable price where you would consider buying these? And I think we all yeah. agreed on $15. Right. $15 would be a reasonable price that I would buy a couple the, of You're them. shedding yeah. off five. Yeah. So, you, I mean, that that's <laughs> such a good, good price. I'd love I, It was funny, price. too. I was talking about, like, beforehand, I was like, all right, I'm probably going to get Captain America, Iron Man, and the Joker... Uh, and, uh, I don't know, Joker and maybe the Hulk. 
possibly. You know, like th- those would be my. Now I'm like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get all of them. Exactly. It's funny, like, That's cutting, my thought cutting too. Back it's the like, price. Yeah. With ten dollars per five dollars one, I'm I, I want all of them now. So series <laughs> one is has been announced. Uh, if you didn't know beforehand, Batman, Batgirl, Robin, the Joker, uh, are the four sets from DC, and then from Marvel we have Captain America, Iron Man, Black Widow, and the Hulk. And uh, there's there's other obviously there's more to come because uh, we saw New York or not New York Comic Con San Diego Comic Con they had Superman Wonder Woman Black Panther and Doctor Strange and those they haven't been out yet but they have designs for them they're probably gonna be released they uh, did designs from the but I mean like they did change up the designs for the ones that they ended up releasing quite a bit so I'm not sure if they're actually going to release those or keep them as exclusive no, they're not gonna release those here's the thing uh if you look at the like Bat- Batman Joker Superman, Wonder Woman, uh, Captain America, Iron Man, and Black Panther, uh, Doctor Strange were all the characters they had at San Diego Comic Con. Those are all based on comic book versions of those characters. If you look at the Batman and the Joker, it's classic com- like Batman is yeah, blue and yeah. gray in that one. Uh, and they're Captain revising American, it to Iron movie Man, versions now. Yeah you, yeah, you can actually see in Captain America and Iron Man. Captain America has a darker blue. Iron Man has a, a design based off his Civil War costume, and so does Cap- uh, Captain America. His like his stripes are like uh, right. MCU version. And the DC ones so, are based off the Le- the Lego Batman movie. So Lego announced two more sets coming from uh, Series One, and that is Beauty and the Beast sets. We're actually we are getting Belle and the Beast, uh, and the I got some the of the best here. ones. Yeah, these are really good. Detailing is on point. Well, yeah, they're <laughs> both really well done sets. They, they both look really accurate to like the you know the classic movie interpretation of these they're characters. They're both so cute. Uh, really excited oh, to get all of them. <laughs> so Can't adorable. wait to buy them together. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's weird though because like the I feel like yeah. the eyes just they really work for these two in particular for me personally more so than like the the superhero ones for these it's just like they're so adorable no, like especially the, uh, Belle the eyes really are done really well uh, I feel like they they add like especially for for the Disney <laughs> yeah. uh, cartoon thing they they really add something uh, like a bit of personality to them the hair is really cleverly like designed too I think and implemented in all of these sets I believe with all the different ones with various mm-hmm. hairstyles it's really good Lego. Killing it. and like the the best thing about the $10 price tag is that I can justify yeah. buying one like I can justify Very buying so. the entire way it was so it's funny because like when it was like $15 you know I was like oh you know maybe maybe I'll buy like four of them you know it's like $60 total and now that they're $10 I'm like I'm gonna buy the whole wave I'm gonna buy I'm gonna spend $100 on all of these <laughs> 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 it's amazing. Yeah, I, I very well might get like a bunch of these because I guess you could say the price is nice. Wow. It's like it's just it's so it's so affordable that I can like I can afford a fifteen dollar purchase is just a little too much for me to go. Well, I can't afford that right now. But at ten dollars, you know, if I'm going to like you know like Walmart or something, I can be like, yeah, I can spend another ten dollars. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I say I say Walmart, but you actually you can't actually get these sets from Walmart. Uh, you're gonna have to uh actually they're all exclusive to Lego stores and lego shop at home oh really wow yeah i did not Miss know that so information I'm, yeah and they're but they're they're actually available um they're actually available for vip purchase uh at february 15th they have a, the early access for vips so uh you can get those ahead of time and uh if you like you know if you're vip or live next to your lego store that kind of thing i am so happy though because i am right next to a lego store <sighs> and i'm not because hey, I i'm not that far from one either I can I can walk in and pick up one like every week. <laughs> it doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, I, I might be uh, taking a drive out to uh, where you live, just to it's finally great. finally go to a, like my closest Lego store and get some of these sets. Uh, or I guess I could just order them shop at home. Oh, well, that's that's good. Real quick, not too bad. What's with the thing at the base? Uh, it's like a brickhead's face. Yeah, series one. It says series one. Oh, on okay, yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. sense. It's like a commemoration. That's right, so, exactly. So, like, uh, now let's say like twenty like, years from now, people are collecting brickheads left and right, and you got a series one like freaking Captain America. That's gonna be <laughs> some good collectible stuff, right it's there. A big deal. Oh, dude, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, this is like it's so perfectly priced. I can't, I can't complain about this. This honestly is exactly really cool. what I wanted. I, I, I was never interested in so. Amiibos or um the uh, the <laughs> pop. Whatever, Funko, yep, Funko Pop. Yeah, ditto. Never interested in any of those. These, I'm very much. This is right up my alley. I really because like you can these. build them. Yeah, that's honestly yeah, it's they're it's like, a fun experience I mean, building them. Like it's it. always that like element that separates Lego from other toys you can buy. It feels like it has more value just because it's not one big solid hunk of plastic. It's super interactive. Oh, I, exactly. I just hope they make Teen Titans or something. Oh, else. Oh, don't, don't, oh. don't count them out. Yeah. <laughs> That would be cool. so Man, I can't imagine Raven though. That much purple would be like crazy. 
Oh, I, I can see it. I can oh, see it happening. The hood. Same. Probably hood. no hood. Good. Yeah. Wow. All right. <laughs> there you go. I think. Okay. From what I've heard as well, they will be open for VIP access. Like VIPs will have a early. Yes, um, you'll be able to purchase release. them early on. Purchase them yeah, early. Yeah, Feb- baby. Uh, I think it's February fifteenth. Um. So VIP early access starts February fifteenth. If you are a VIP with Lego, uh, it, this is perfect for you. So yeah. get Do those. It. Get those sets. Um, and go for it. All right, uh, moving on. The next thing in our docket, uh, we have some news on the Ninjago uh, movie. Well, it's going on right now while we're recording this. The Nuremberg Toy Fair is going on in Germany. That's the right. deal. And every year we always do a huge blowout about Nuremberg Toy Fair because of all the new sets are coming out. And I would love to do that this time. But there's a couple special circumstances that are preventing us from doing so. Because the Ninjago movie sets, to my knowledge, aren't on display because they're movie spoilers. A lot of the superhero sets are blacked out because of movie spoilers. They have Cars 3 sets that are blacked out because of movie spoilers. Wow. And the Star Wars sets aren't allowed to be photographed. From what I'm to understand. Right. Some people might sneak them before next week's podcast, but for this week, we don't have them. And Bionicle got canceled. So really, <laughs> uh, the only important, really? the only thing we could even talk about is Nexo Knights, which hasn't been photographed <laughs> yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh so, this event, it used to be something crazy and cool, but we didn't get this little poster thing. So what's up with this poster? So, okay, this poster, poster. is... There's two posters, uh, separate in two new movies coming out. Lego Batman, obviously, and also the Ninjago movie. Ninjago is the one that, like, I feel is the most important because we don't have a lot of information about that movie. Uh, we don't even have a trailer yet for yeah, that movie. Is this so supposed like, to be, like, um, released soon, like a trailer for it? Yeah. Uh, people are, are speculating it'll be released with the Lego Batman movie, uh, which comes out next week. That would be uh, grand. So, February 10th. So, you should go see that. But, okay, so looking at this poster, obviously we have Lloyd and Garmadon. Uh, and there, we know already that Lloyd and Garmadon will be characters in the film. Uh, Garmadon seems to have a cool, but like, you know, slightly similar version of his design. Uh, still has the four arms and everything. Yep. Um, the biggest addition is he has this cloth thing. He has the cloth thing. thing. He's got more gold. And it's the same as, uh, Sensei Wu. And I'm really excited for, uh, to see like what these minifigures look like. More on that in a second. But what really amazes me is the background because the yeah. Jungle City looks dope. <laughs> like, it, is it looks so cool. It looks like basically looks an Asian so inspired awesome. version of uh, the Lego City or Lego Movie City. I, I, I forget I what it's called. But. It's like yeah, Big yeah, Hero yeah. Six. It looks rad. It, it yeah. reminds yes. me the first time I saw Big Hero Six, and they my first experience of Big Hero Six before they did the trailer, they did a just a clip of what New Francokia looked like. It was just a city line. San Francisco. They just went yeah. past it. France Francisco. You're right. Sorry. Yeah. It blew my mind. And this is the same type of deal where it's like this Asian inspired architecture. Uh, this everything about it is just so cool. It's so awesome. This, yeah. this I love like bl- blending architecture together because I'm always so fascinated by how, how people do it, like what people mm-hmm. use to like combine things. Right. And especially like styles that draw from like a more of like an ancient history kind of thing. Uh, I love stuff that combines like modern architecture with like an Asian influence, for example, because uh, that's like a lot of my heritage comes from there and like seeing that modern and like you know old and new kind of fused together is really cool so i'm really excited to see what the what it looks like this is kind of like the first look we have of that city it is so mm-hmm. i am incredibly excited just to go back to kind of old ninjago but in a new way like with yeah. on as the villain just old like new ninjago old school. city yeah basically mm-hmm. it's this weird <laughs> feeling of like familiarity but also it's completely different i would also like, like it if they didn't call the city ninjago city TBH. <laughs> I was yeah. gonna say, like, it's you know, like it's like New oh, York, yeah. New York. Right. It, or you, it's just like, for instance, it's like they're ninjas, right? And they happen to live on no. an island named Ninjago. And they the, the city's called Ninjago City. And it's like, <laughs> oh, okay. Imagine if you're like, hey guys, you want to go? Hey, I'm flying out to YouTube to go to YouTube City <laughs> next week. You want to do like, <laughs> want to do that? At the same it's time, like, right, come I on. can <laughs> guarantee you people would be very upset if they did. Yeah, yeah, I mean, definitely. people be very upset that they change the voice actors. Like people are, I'm upset. upset. That they yeah, it's the like voice it's thing where it's like they are changing things fundamental to the canon. They're in high school, you know, so yeah. it's not. Yeah. People yeah. will be upset. Uh, they are in high school. I had no idea about what the movie was going to be about. No, really the first. no one really knows. Oh. But then again, you're even yeah, less. But they're going to be in high school. You know nothing about Ninjago, do you? Yeah, so that that'll be a very fun experience to me. To like, maybe I'll. Like figure out what's going uh, on because I who's going to see the movie? I don't know now. Uh, the Batman movie this week. 
Me? I'm gonna try to see it. Not on this week. Next week. It's not coming out next, this week. Next week. We'll but see. next week, opening night, I'm going. Yeah. Next week, oh probably gosh, yeah. gonna be going. I'm probably gonna be going on the 11th. Oh. Do you guys want to do? I have. Do you guys want to do a special about it? Do you want to like record no, like okay. a, a first impression things? I mean, I, I honestly do think for any of the Lego movies, we should have a dedicated like thing. Well, so we did. We did for the last one. Yeah. Let's, let's do, do it. it for this. All right. Same. Stay tuned to this channel. Yeah, subscribe to the TTV channel here. Yeah, thanks. On YouTube. <laughs> <That> was... <laughs> Impressive. Stay tuned. Please subscribe. Very good. Okay. Yeah, um, no, I'm going to see it on the 9th. Yeah, nice. so like, I'm going like to see it Thursday night. Uh, man. Yeah, I need to get my <laughs> ticket for it, man. <laughs> Heck yeah. So Likewise. kind of going back to what I was talking about with the designs for these minifigures, I'm excited to see them. We actually found out that we are, a lot of people suspected it, we are getting a collectible minifigures series based yes! on the Gaga movie. I couldn't be more excited. 20 I minifigures. Oh 20 my minifigures. Gosh. That's that oh man. too much. So oh here is the thing that I'm wondering. Batman makes sense, right? There's a ton of Batman characters you can draw from. They even if they even if they didn't go obscure like comic characters, they could have pulled from like DC stuff, you know. So I'm I'm totally like I totally get what's in the Batman stuff. What are you gonna do for Ninjago's? Considering this is a new canon, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it depends on the amount of secondary characters characters they introduce. It could be characters from the show that just never got minifigures. I mean, if uh, Maybe. if anything, they've got infinite possibilities within Jago, m- more so than I would say Batman. Yeah, they have, they've got they have the robot. Girl, they've got the ability to create as many know? characters as they want and give them personalities and stuff. That is so. that is true. With that Ninjago, is true. It's going to depend on how big their supporting cast is and if they feel like just creating many figures for characters in the world that could function as normal non Ninjago many figures. An example being the Mailman. He could function as an Ninjago mailman because people love the character. That poor or man. just a Lego mailman. <laughs> okay, I see. <laughs> like, just kind of there. a regular it, thing. It might be like Batman, though, that we have multiple versions of a single character. Oh, that's exactly. true. Maybe right. there, there, there could be, be like young, alternate young, costumes in the movie. Yes, that's the there's thing. Definitely the definitely alternate, alternate costumes, costumes because they have so He's many to choose young from. Young Sensei Man, all that stuff. You young know? Yeah. Sensei. Maybe flashbacks. Young Sensei Man. the same issue that they... I don't know what he's called. Well, I mean, okay, the main thing that I'm kind of thinking about is Silly is that, a like, god. He doesn't age. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, is he really? <laughs> I mean, uh, his god dad was, was his, god. God was his father. His dad was god. <laughs> he Thor's is god. Father. And, Speaking of wow. dad being father, wow. stop the spoilers. <laughs> TLDR this week is going to be interesting. That, uh, uh, that, yeah. Oh boy, I, I, I are you going to have that. better material to work with? Oh yeah. <laughs> so what I'm wondering, I guess, like part of the thing too is that like. It's pretty obvious that people running Batman were Batman fans. But I don't, like, I'm wondering, like, how many people running Ninjago are Ninjago fans or have combed through the entirety of the, the show and, like, are picking out designs and stuff meant for fans. Like, they could, it could go either way because Ninjago is a newer theme, you know. It's not like that this is a reboot or something where the kids have grown up of it and now they're in the Lego company working and they're remembering these things. Yeah. So it is something where, like, someone that's not necessarily a kid or someone who isn't, who might not be a fan, had to go and decide what was in this. And of course, it's you know, it's like first line, original so it, story-driven but. theme like this to get a full theatrical movie. It's going to be a rip learning experience. Yeah, rip by Onical. Rip, rip by Onical. So, rip by Onical. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. But yeah, uh, I'm liking, I'm liking how Lloyd looks in this. Uh, I want to see like if they have more detail to the figures and everything. They looked pretty cool from what the calendar we saw. It seems but, like they're going with more black as their primary color with like the which, oh, yeah, color. I, it makes yeah. way more sense. That makes honestly. so much sense. It makes yeah. a lot of sense. <laughs> Remember that one time they had a bright white ninja who was running around and then his clothes got washed with reds and he was just a giant pink ninja. Remember that, that was a <laughs> plot point that happened. Yeah, really conspicuous. <laughs> Never forget pink Zan. God. <laughs> Ugh. I'd rather forget pink. What if he's one of the collectible minifigures? <laughs> I can totally that would, see that. That would that actually would be kind of funny, that to one. be honest. I mean, you know, that, that would not surprise me. <laughs> oh, okay, man, uh, man. last but not least on our docket, we have the launch of the Lego Life app. All right. So we'll talk about this for a second. Meso- I've been holding off. Me too. I've got <laughs> Lego Life installed. I want to say I, I don't, don't even know what this app is, to be honest. It's a you. social okay, media would, platform, I believe. It, it's a social media platform for kids under 13. So the, the whole idea is that, like, uh, Lego is realizing that a lot of kids spend their time on apps and they want to be in social media, but they don't have a safe place to do that. And so they've designed this app specifically for kids under age 13 or anyone over age 13 can use it. But it's still like a place for them to share their own Lego creations to go back, you know, to, to join different groups and like to be interested in the stuff that they're interested in and to kind of deliver that social media experience to kids. Well, 
I booted it up, and already, literally the first thing I see makes me not want to use it, because you can't pick your own name. Yeah, you have no. to use a random okay. combination of three words, which is a classic Lego thing. They did it on Hero Recon Team way back when. You can't even when. pick the three words, though. So I have, uh, I have decided to go by the moniker of Rex Plucky Fork. <laughs> and that will be my title for Lego Life going forward. I uh, wish Lego else? Life wouldn't What's... crash on me every like two minutes. <laughs> I, I have one, Rex, but I don't know. The plucky fork has risen. It is. It's not not. I accident me. I accidentally accepted mine, and I'm not really happy with it. I'm Officer <laughs> Jumpy Bull. <laughs> 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 Let me see if I can check mine. I am. All right, I just posted mine to uh, uh, the chat. Oh, I guess it might be the. Oh, I'm downloading sure it. In this one. <laughs> Mine's actually and pretty sure I'm missing out on something. And so I open again. up Lego Life, and not crashed. knowing what this is, and uh, the f- Chairman Sophisticated Puffin. Chairman Sophisticated <laughs> <And a> Puffin. <laughs> Red um, wow. So, Ven, what kind of phone do you have? And it crashed. iPhone success. Interesting. I have a success too, and it's been and it crashed. On my end. But it's been like <laughs> this is the thing where it's and like it you know, it does to get. <laughs> I can't even check my own name. Come on, and it crashed, dude. Purple. They've got like the perfect hair color, hairstyle for you. They I, do. It, I'm yeah. uploading mine right now. Oh, that's actually not what I was thinking. Oh, I am elder logical. Thinking? That looks really good though. Elder yeah. logical clown. Yeah. <laughs> Envy. I think you you might have a winner here. Oh yeah. I got oh, Master man. Admirable Kopaka. And the Master. Master. Wow. Now, Master the cool Kopaka. thing is, they do have you uh, Bionicle names. Yeah, I saw in Pohatu. The, in the yeah, I saw Pohatu. Pohatu. I seen Alila. I'm really ex- I'm like I do like that Lego has been like for that Easter again as a Bionicle fan that you know that's it's really cool. So I boot up the app for the first time after choosing my name and the first thing I see is a post from Mr. Reserved Pizza. And it is of the Lego penguin minifigure submerged in snow. Uh, yeah, the caption let it snow. And it crashed. Like, all right. Well, okay. Remember, Lego this life. is... So, the thing about Lego Life is that it is meant for, for kids to share their creation. And it crashed. So, they're, they're, they're making it for, like... They're regulating it and, like, making sure that they have, like, heavy moderation and everything. Yeah. But at the same time, admittedly, like, if you're an older kid and you're doing, uh, like, you know, if you're on forums already or anything, this is definitely made for your younger yeah. sibling. So if you're a parent, if you're an older sibling, <laughs> you give it to your, like, What's you know, up, your, this I just, kid siblings to use. No. I've got, like, this, like, rugged male ninja that right now on my minifigure. And, like, I, act, <laughs> I was scrolling through the torsos and clicked one that's, like, a female torso. Oh, no. And the ninja just like looks down at his body and just <laughs> looks so happy and gleeful. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh my god! For children, everyone <laughs> under the age of thirteen. Hey, they have friends, mini dolls on here. Elder no, logical luckily. cloud. Interesting. The dude looks snazzy. All right, don't so, worry. Okay, guys. Part of the, there is a thing that I feel like with the randomization of names. I know it's a thing to like to make sure that like you know you're not able to make anything. Um, Inappropriate. Too inappropriate, you know. I I get that. Part of the part of the problem, I guess, is that like, if you're when you're like, especially when I was a kid, the screen name became your identity. That was like a whole deal to it. And oh, sometimes God. when you're not able to like to pick it, or when when it's something else, it is. I mean, a lot. Of, I still refer to most of you by your screen names to this day. You know. Yo. Yeah. But no one's ever gonna call you Same. know Rex Plucky Fork, you know, by his right. name. Oh yeah, so it's just gonna be okay, Plucky. Oh, like, how you doing, <laughs> Plucky? Rexy. So part of the, I, I do feel like that it is part of the thing where you're trying to create a social network. You need to make sure that the like kids feel like it, it is definitely individual to them. Um, and I feel like that's that is something that the name thing takes away from that. But the minifigure is really cool. That's a that's a good idea to have the kids create their own minifigures. Fifty nine sure percent. There's options. not really many options though. Well, okay, and not no just the options. Of, like, colors. It's the colors. Yeah, the colors are what gets me. I I completely understand that. Like maybe they don't have a lot of the printing or the parts in already, but I do wish that you were able to choose the colors of certain things, like the colors of your hair, for example. Um, you can't just choose a hairstyle that looks cool. It has to be that hairstyle, and that color. So. Yeah. Luck, maybe if you're a blonde, you know that you have the the same hairstyle that all the blonde hairs are in. Oh yeah, I'm there's, blonde. there's more, there's more, uh, there's more girl um, hairs, I think, than guy hairs. If I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to customize right now, and I'm woefully disappointed already. Oh, huh, what's wrong? Well, I guess no, everything, like, but yeah, I'm just I'm trying well, to find a good. Combo. I'm almost done downloading it, so we're off to a good start. Chairman, 
Chairman Sophisticated right. Pumpkin does have a uh, uh, Oscar. I assume it's an Oscar. I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm going to say it's an Oscar. And a diamond, which he apparently stole from someplace. So he's the Hope Diamond and an Oscar <laughs> uh, and a cape that he's running around with as a chairman of the Sophisticated Pumpkins. Pum- pumpkins? Incredible. Puffins. That's puffins. a sentence and a half. Sorry. Such it sophisticated is. mini pumpkin. I mean, puffin. I mean, whatever you said. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you know the Puffin King? All right. But, um, I think so you I'm- can... You can, sh- you can share stuff. So it's like it's interesting because like it already has like stuff. pre has my like uh my mocks that I posted on the uh, mm-hmm. the th- whatever Lego Important. thing. Yeah. Um. It, but it, it gives me notifications for all like the likes and comments that I have in that on that, those photos. Well, when I try to click, click on them. The, yeah. When I try to click on them, doesn't do anything. I nice. believe. They're try- they're trying to. I think it's because like it's a, it's like they're trying to make sure that you don't go to a non Lego approved thing. And even though it's a Lego site, I feel like they don't moderate the sites on Rebrick or whatever else as well. So I, I that might be what's what's going on. Probably here. so. Or, I don't know. Maybe not. So, so I, like, like as of this moment, like you know, as a as someone who actually um, uses social media and is old enough to use social media, I have to admit the this this app does not necessarily like have a lot for like the older crowd. Um, it's definitely geared towards yeah. uh, younger but kids. But I don't think that yeah, it's uh, it's not intended but to. So it's yeah, it's I mean like that's that's the the whole point of like realizing it. it a lot, kids spend a ton of time on social media or not social media itself but like on the tablets and phones they spend a large amount of time on it and uh youtube kids has been really popular which is basically the same thing like this is it's a version of youtube that you can't comment or like you know like do anything with um and you just watch uh <laughs> you just watch the 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 videos that other kids have made or are appropriate for kids not maybe other kids have made but like toy videos you know videos of um disney movies that kind of thing rex so. plucky fork has risen it looks like a midget <laughs> <laughs> wow! It looks like half of his size. Oh, that mustache! <laughs> that mustache, though, that is. You can't uh, see it, but he has like a musical instrument, like a trombone. <laughs> Don't make fun of him. He's nice. a plucky fork. <laughs> Evidently, <laughs> he combed his mustache with a fork. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! One thing I noticed: I went to go just like mess with the settings, and when you try to go and like press on the settings, you have to answer a quest, a math equation. In yeah, order to get in. I, I keep really? getting it wrong. That's what? Oh, come on, <laughs> come on. <laughs> These are easy answers. Wait, 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 wait. So wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. So they're so they're locking settings behind not parental controls, but behind the kid's comprehension of math. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> much. I guess so. That's but equal part that's clever. That's really and clever. Wow. Wow. I, I think that's a really, really <laughs> unique idea. <laughs> well, there, there's been that's like, really cool, actually. There was okay. There there was a video game uh, a while back. that was like an like a like a comedy adult video game series. But what they would do is that like in order to play the game, you had to answer a bunch of trivia questions from like the seventies or something. This, this game was released like in the eighties, nineties or something. But basically, it was released at a time where like if you were a kid, you wouldn't know these pop culture references, but you would probably know them if you were an adult. And so it's it's the same kind of idea. Where it's like oh yeah, you're doing stuff that like only older people would know. Um, purple, sense. just off the top of your head, seven times eight. What is that? Fifty-six. Oh, Ta-da. congratulations! You answered correctly. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> There's just like such an awkward silence. It was like, oh crap. <laughs> congratulations! <laughs> than I did. You're a bigger you idiot fit. than I expected. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is off topic. I was just scrolling through the characters, and like you can follow different characters, like Master Wu or whatever. <laughs> when did they start? Calling Sensei Wu Master Wu with the movie. Because they've been I think. doing it for years now, but like it's built up to the movie where like he's no longer he no longer goes by Sensei. But I'm just trying to remember when did they actually make that change? I feel like it was whenever we heard about the movie. Yes. You know, and when we saw that slide, it was like these people are playing these characters in the movie, <laughs> and it's yeah. also like because from thing. possession, I have the Master Wu Dragon. Also, wow, that picture, <laughs> uh, oh, seventy four. <laughs> <laughs> five five video. times five is too hard. <laughs> five x five, I mean. Well, like yeah, how, five x five. how how like funny would it be if they had like the lower tier options? It was like, oh, you want to turn the sound on and off, like with this. And but if you like wanted to like edit, you know, like notifications, you had to answer like an like a calculus for me, you know. It's like oh, numbers, so, Mason. The, what do they mean? So the, the numbers. <laughs> the numbers. It's Mason. great. <laughs> you know, the limit as this as x approaches zero. Of this, my is X, X going is approaching. To zero. Yeah, why, why? That's <laughs> yeah, X, don't go back to zero. <laughs> Leave X alone. Don't be a <laughs> zero. Be a hero. I'm muted. X, you gotta Hi. go to hero, man. Okay, finally, I've gotten a character customization. Yay. What is your name, Eldra? Nice. It's not telling me yet. 
Oh, okay. Not nice. It's, Wait, it's the, literally the first thing you do when you open the app up, yeah, isn't how do you, it? How do you get to customer characterization and but didn't do customer your name? Characterization. Customer characterization. <laughs> whatever. Like character customization. My bad. It's not telling me a name. I no. I wish I wish you characterize my customers. Yeah. My job. <laughs> That'd me be nice. too. Selective. I I have selected a character who is. Wearing a, a historically inaccurate <laughs> Viking helmet and has blue paint on his pants. All right, we'll save that and name him. I want to know before we end. Yeah, what, let's hear this name, man. It's in your okay. settings if you can't find it. Oh, how do I get to that? Sorry. Uh, oh it's my the God. gear on top it's of your All I hope is gear. Is it gear? <laughs> right the top right. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so you know how I was like, I'm like, 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 trying to help my freaking 80 year old grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> or your father. This is like tech support. Like yeah, or my dad, tech support. actually. You know, it's like, oh, all right. Can you see the gear in the upper right? Uh, no? Okay, so <laughs> send me your address. Do you see the right? Uh, <laughs> right there in the text message. Okay, here we go. I found the gear. Okay. My account. And it's a math question. No, no, don't go to my account. It no, should, it, like... it's... Okay. All right. Riddle me this. Do you see on the bottom of the screen, there's a minifigure head with his tongue sticking out? Uh, it's... Yeah. Click that. Tap that. And now look at the top. Anonymous. Top of the screen. Anonymous? Oh, it's it actually says that. Skip the name. It what said the that for me, too, but I just, like, went to my settings and it was there. Uh, well, interesting. My account, well, and it's a math question, and I don't understand it. Well, wait, right. Okay, wait, no, whoa, 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 whoa. You don't understand... <laughs> What is, okay, hold on. Hold Listen, on. man, whoa, whoa, these math whoa. questions are hard, dude. Yeah, tell me what the math question is. Oh, that's not happening. I'm not embarrassing myself <laughs> on the podcast. <laughs> you All already right. have. Well, uh, don't worry. I guessed it. Yay! <laughs> wow, you had to guess it. What's your name? Tell me. It. It's just letting me edit my profile. <laughs> not telling me. <laughs> Sorry. It, I don't. I don't feel like waiting for this. Username, right? well, we'll LJ save it for the has, next episode. LJ has joined anonymous. <laughs> No, wait, I what? No, so. they don't like... No. <laughs> On an unrelated right, note, the last up. text message All my right. dad sent me was, Hey, okay. I got an iPad Mimi. Do you want it? Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> iPad Mimi with a beanie. <laughs> oh, my dad's um, adorable. I love, like, maybe he just literally found an iPad meme, and he's wanting to send that to you. He's like, hey, I found this, I found this hilarious iPad meme. <laughs> <laughs> you should have it. What was it? M I M I? Yeah, it was M I M I. Mimi. M I M I M I M I M I. My brother. Yeah, so let's, let's wrap this up. Thanks for joining us for this episode of the Brickfeed Podcast. Uh, subscribe to our Patreon, patreon.com slash TV channel. Go to our message board, support.tvchannel.com. Subscribe. Um, turn on the notifications. Uh, it's a little bell in the corner right next to subscribe on YouTube. And it'll let you know whenever we upload a new video. Our editor is going to have a fun time with this episode. Yeah, boy. Oh, I know. Everybody, shout out to Emokatamer. Send your positive wishes to him. Your good vibes. <laughs> well wishes. This is going to This is going to be a recovery a after this. <laughs> tell, him to, <laughs> tell him that he's an awful person and that Whoa, no. uh, y- Whoa. Y- y- you, you hate Whoa. him. Whoa. Say something Stop mean. Ta- cool it, Stop then. taming the Evokas. Something mean. <laughs> Say something <laughs> mean. <laughs> all right, yeah. all right. It's We're, the best way to show your affection am, for people. I'm pulling the plug on this. By boy. making them cry. <laughs> Listen, you're kids. gonna be single this Valentine's Day. Listen, aren't you? kids, it was Valentine's <laughs> Day. It was Valentine's Day. You find a you find a girl that you really like. No. Make sure she <laughs> cries. No. no. Oh my no. God. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> if she doesn't give you her heart, break it. We're not responsible, Cry- Brendan. Have you? If, oh, no, if a guy fire. makes you cry this Valentine's I, I Day, recommend... punch him in the face. Yeah. No. If a guy makes you cry this Valentine's Day, yeah, punch him in the face. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> Make that guy cry back. This derailed so fast. I'm Jonathan. (laughs) I'm Burr. I'm LJ. I'm Ben. I'm Purple. I'm Son of Brain Victus. I'm Meek Sex Trooper. And this is ZW Breakfast Podcast. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Thanks for being back, X. See ya. See ya. Bye-bye. Goodbye.